some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Findlay, Ohio, with the fraudster known as Cult News as he attempts to audit the billion dollar corporation Marathon Gas. Yeah, uh, are you out of your bloody mind, dude? But at any rate, he ends up getting himself kicked off the property before he can do anything about it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking show on the road, shall we? Thanks, and go from there. Hey, Doe, you got your marathon ID? No complaints. Oh, I do not. Is this private property? Yes, it is. Really? I thought this is Main Street and a sidewalk. No, this is all private property. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, then. I don't want to. I don't want to be on private property. I had no idea. It looks like this to me. So this isn't like a public sidewalk. No. Hey, no. Where's the signs that say it's private property on the street? Are there signs that say the whole street and sidewalk is public private property? It that is. can't be right. It is. Yeah. Oh, fraudster! Have you never heard of this kind of thing where uh, corporations do tend to buy out pieces of a city that they can uh, control, own, and everything like that? Uh, yeah, you've never heard of that kind of thing before? Uh, yeah, Walmart does it all the time, Target does it all the time, and many others do it too. In fact, you can walk right on their private property and go shopping all you want, as long as you don't cause trouble. And in this case, Marathon owns two city blocks right here, and uh, they control it, just as Walmart or Target would control their own pieces of private property open to the public, like any store that they have open and available to the public. And if this is a, such a foreign concept to you, uh, how long you've been living under that rock? Because it's been going on for a long time. Marathon owns this street, that street. Okay, all right. You're, you're saying that this is not a public sidewalk? No, no sir, it is not. All right, interesting. All right, so I guess I'm assuming you guys don't want me on the public sidewalk. On, I'm sorry, on your private sidewalk. I'll have to call the authorities and ask them if that is in fact accurate. It doesn't seem accurate to me, though. I mean, it's a thoroughfare. Okay, so any, you, I didn't see any signs that say private property. Is there a problem with me being out here taking photographs? You can, you can walk through here uh -huh. as much as you want. Got it, got it. All right, I'll tell you. So where, where does your private property and the public property begin? Uh, Main Street. And then, down, and then down here past the Avis. All right, I'm going to go up here. I'll call the authorities and verify the information I've been given. And maybe I'll be back. Maybe not. I mean. Oh, okay. The cops say, yeah, that's their property. If they say you can't take pictures or do whatever, then so be it. That seems kind of crazy. But I'll, you know, I'll check it out. No problem. You have a good one. All right, thank you. You bet. Hello, how are you doing, sir? No complaints. What's that? No complaints. Okay, so hey, I'm Officer Stoner. I'm also recording here, but I think okay. Officer Officer Stoner. Stoner. Yep, Stoner. I love it. Yeah, so. All right. Um, you must get a lot of ribbing for that, I'd imagine. Oh, uh, no, actually, compliments. Which you seem surprised that there's somebody out there named Stoner. Well, he's not the only one because on here is a picture of a man called Stoner as well. On the right, is Eugene Stoner, the man who invented the AR-15 style rifle, sitting next to the man who invented the AK style rifle, Mikhail Kalashnikov. And the origin of the uh, name comes from uh, groups of people who lived next to stony formations of hills and everything like that. So, dude, it's not exactly what you think it is. So, you gutter trash wannabe, go ahead and get your mind out of the gutter while you're at it. <laughs> so, anyway, so I talked to Marathon. They said that you're on their property, but clearly you're up here. This is all public and that kind of stuff. So, is this correct? You know, I, I, I walk outside and I say, no photos, this is public private property. I'm like, what? Really? So, is the street and the sidewalk their yeah. personal property? Uh, dude. Yeah, 
saw it in Salt Lake. They bought a whole block. Yeah, yeah this is their whole private street now, and they'll shut it down for events and that kind of stuff. I know it kind of purges into it, but yeah, so like pretty much where those signs are at, that's where their car day starts. But yeah, if you're taking photographs and stuff from up here, you're yeah, good yeah. to go. So, so, uh, so I mean, they just told me basically you can walk yeah, through here, they but they're just saying no photographs down here, apparently. Yeah, they don't. When you're on their property, yeah, yeah they can yeah, say, they can make whatever rules they want. Sure, but sure. now you're on public space, so and what you can see from public space, you can yeah. photograph. So, so all right, I don't believe, I, believe, I, I took their word on it and said, all right, well, hey, if it's your private property, I'll, I'll go ahead and hop and off. I got no problem. I with think that. it's one of those things where it's like some. No, it, it was one. Of it's those, a multi-billion-dollar corporation. Yeah, they have money for a, sure. a full block. Yeah. So. yeah, the Mormon Church did the same thing in Salt Lake. Bought a whole city block. Now, the funny thing about the Mormon Church. They won't allow like a same-sex couple to walk through the property holding hands. <laughs> oh, really? It's really bad. Why would you point that out about the Mormon Church, oh Mikey boy? Uh, could it be because you were excommunicated from the Mormon Church uh, for your misdeeds against them? You were trying to film their ceremonies and other things. You got into some uh, altercations with some of the elders. You got arrested because of it. Yeah, dude. Uh, I don't think they like you too much either. Pretty hilarious. But, you know, they can make up their own rules. And so, yeah, no, I get it. I get it. So I definitely won't be going on their property. Oh, let me rephrase. They said I can go on the property, you know, walking through the sidewalk. Over. I just can't take photos. So I can respect that. Yeah, no problem. Well, I'm assuming you're basically that line I right there, they right? Us, they, yeah, they don't want you to be on here. You could be on mm. the other side. Ah, do me, then do me a favor. They that saying that, can you please tell them that I said, and don't take this the wrong way, but tell them that I said, tell them I said they're wrong. Do me a favor, can you tell them I said they're wrong and I'll go to jail for this rather than move? Oh, so you'll go to jail for uh, disrespecting somebody's private property. You know something? I always knew that somewhere down the line there had to be some fraud or belief system that, uh, well, didn't believe in private property rights anyway. You know, the troll trespassing thing and everything like that. You know, I would love to see you try that and uh, how the Marathon Company would use their... Uh, lawyers against you in this particular occasion that would be pretty damn funny there's no way this is public property yeah, no way that's my yeah. well it's allied universal so you know they're gonna say all sorts of crazy things Allied yeah, Universal. I'll make sure that they're aware of that. So. Well, when Allied Universal gets involved because yep, so they're yeah, ridiculous. Uh, seriously, dude, you do realize that Allied Universal is just enforcing the policies of their client. It's not Allied Universal that makes up these uh, policies for this uh, property. It is Marathon. If you have a problem with that policy, then maybe you should take it up with the billion-dollar corporation right there. Yeah, this whole sidewalk is public, right? Yep, so yeah, they're, they're nuts. It's basically, I would think, from the edge of the building that way, personally, but yep, so I'm not going to test it and get rid of it. <laughs> Go toe the line. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. Hey, you don't by chance have a business card, do you? Oh, yeah. Is there an apartment? Or Holy like crap. A... People stealing your pins? What's going on with that? Oh, yeah, there's sometimes where I don't want them back. So it's, it's funny. Now, I'm just uh, I'm kind of photographing every, uh, well, I'm trying to before the day is out. Photograph. I'm doing a few uh, time lapses as well, but photograph. Pretty much every every business in town, at the very least. Gotcha. I've got my work cut out for me. There's still oh, quite I'm a few sure, left. Especially with the weather getting colder here. So. Yeah, yeah, but, it sucks. But right. yeah, I just I stuff the property. Cause well, I mean, oh yeah, most definitely. Appreciate you. Keep a watchful eye on stuff. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I'm not gonna push my luck with these guys. They 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 tell me yeah, once. They're definitely on top of it, so I'll, I'll give them that. Yeah, so yes. Yeah. Yep. Somebody needs to tell me twice to get off their property. I get it. I get it. Yeah, we all know that's a big, bull-faced lie right there. 
You can see several uh, videos on my channel alone that show you getting trespassed and removed from other properties across the country. Yeah, uh, don't tell such transparent lies because they might come back and bite you in the ass. Hey, you have a good one, man. Yeah. Uh, the library. Yeah, I miss. Oh, this is a municipal building. Say so what? One second. There you go. The city of Finley is not friendly. Oops, sorry about that. Head on in. So, just looking at this. The city of Friendly, uh, or Finley, I should say, not Friendly, the city of Finley prohibits photographing or recording. Can you look that up? Court Security Rule 101. Yeah, you're going to play dumb with that as well, that you've never heard of such a thing. Judges having control over the courthouse, not just the courtroom. Well, maybe you should walk right in there and tell them that that sign is unconstitutional and you won't leave until they take it down. But of course, that might mean that you'll get arrested again. And you want another arrest on your record? Well, you said you were willing to do it earlier. So are you going to do it now? No, he's not going to do it now. If he had, he would have shown it already. And that's just too damn bad because I would love to see this guy get arrested again. It's always hilarious. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?